barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. So while I'm here, folks, I thought I'd talk a bit about Web Sheriff. I spoke about them a bit on my old channel, Rob Lester Blogs, and I want to talk about it here because it's still annoying. The fact they filed multiple false DMCAs on material which was causing some negative feedback towards a well-known British psychic. So they disregarded the law, misused the DMCA, all because they're a company which is meant to sheriff the internet. Um, one problem though, if you're not actually coming from a place of authority and legality, you're not a sheriff, you're a vigilante. So Web Vigilante files false DMCAs against people who point out that Sally Morgan has worn an earpiece and seems to, in fact there's no other rational reason for it to be there, seems to use it to get knowledge from people behind the stage or people in the back of the theatre so they can direct her towards particular targets and say certain things about them. So people who send in letters, people who send in notes, people who can, well, easily be researched through the internet if needs be, or with special programs which you can purchase to get information on a personal level about people. Yeah, so she probably was being fed information. And Web Sheriff are basically a vigilante company which is employed by egotistical charlatans like Sally Morgan as well as by celebrities with ego issues who use it as a method of silencing critics. They can dress up their critics as haters and get them DMCA'd and of course when the videos disappear with that material they can simply say well it must have been because of the biography channel filing a DMCA or using Web Sheriff as the conduit to file a DMCA. In fact, if it was anyone other than Sally Morgan actually filing the DMCA, they would not have gone through Web Sheriff. They would have done it through Biography Channel or another television or film or documentary production company. So, obviously, it was Sally Morgan. And Sally Morgan hires these bullies to shut people down. Obviously, not just against me, but against many others too. Some of which no longer are active on their channels. So when they lose a video, there isn't a song and dance about how they've been fucked by psych well, Psychotic Sally. So it doesn't come up as much. Uh, Sci-Fake was, of course... Uh, DMCA also and I got a number of DMCA's uh, three against Rob Lester blogs um, two of which are now um, returned uh, Robert W Lester and several other backup channels which also got DMCA'd but I won't allow bullying like this to go unrecognized okay I won't allow groups like Web Sheriff to get away with fucking people just because they're hired by a Z-list celebrity. Someone who gets their celebrity status by playing upon the vulnerabilities within people and the gullibilities within people which in and of itself is indeed a vulnerability but there we are. They basically play upon the mourning, the sad and the impressionable to try and make out that they have contact with spirits. And there is no serious proof from an impartial organisation that they, in fact, do this. In other words, when it comes down to Psychotic Sally, she is 
a major league bullshit artist who uses her trickery to make herself rich. Are we clear here, boys and girls? Because it's pretty damn clear from where I'm standing. Green Admiral, we have enemy ships in sector 47. It's a trap. 